Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and change your transmission fluid. Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this simple video today, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to save at least $100 by spending half an hour and taking this very simple method and basically sucking the transmission fluid out of your vehicle. And in this estimate right here, we can see we're going to save at least over $100 just by doing it ourselves, and it takes less than half an hour. There's no need to get underneath the vehicle, and it's super easy. And the same method works for oil changes as well. So follow along. Change your transmission fluid on your vehicle. If you have a dipstick style transmission like that. And a lot of the newer vehicles are sealed. As where this one actually has a little tiny dipstick. And what I'm going to do is basically. I'm going to suck the transmission fluid out of the car. Using this mighty vac right here and this thing is super cool if you guys have never seen this in action what this is going to allow me to do is to go ahead and suck the fluid out of the vehicle and the best part is i can put in the exact amount as i took out without having to sit here and fumble with the little tiny dipstick and trying to get the readings on it so i'm going to show you how easy this is and how you can get this done in under 30 minutes and save yourself a few hundred bucks and I already have my transmission fluid here and I normally change three to four quarts of transmission fluid at a time max and I'm gonna have a link down below on what your vehicle's specifications are as far as what transmission fluid you should be using and as well as how many quarts you need so you'll find that link down below and I got some transmission fluid here this came from Rock Auto, so most places wanted about ten to eighteen dollars. I was able to get this for five dollars a quart here, and I got it in my hand. I got seven quarts, so what I like to do is do three to four quarts, as I mentioned, and then maybe ten to twelve thousand miles later, I'll come and do an additional three quarts. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so I went ahead and hooked up the Mighty Vac here, put a smaller hose on here. It comes with all this. And what I did is I went right into the transmission right there. This is where the dipstick would normally go. So instead of the dipstick being in there, right now we have the Mighty Vac hose. And once you put that in here, you want to start sucking the fluid out. And you can see that the fluid is being sucked out. And there is a measurement on the side right here. So right here we have 2 liters and 4 liters. And there's a 3 liter mark. And when you get to 3 liters, you can basically do a quick calculation for how many quarts it takes to equal 3 liters. And put that exact amount back in, which we're going to do in a few minutes. Keep on pumping. Now I did want to point out your vehicle might have a transmission filter and if that's the case you do want to normally change that. I actually like to go ahead and change the filter uh, as scheduled. However if you're not able to get to it you're better off at least changing the fluid. So keep that in mind and the same thing with your oil changes. I've seen people not do any oil changes in the past for 20, 30,000 miles because they don't want to get underneath the car and change the filter out. And most vehicles can definitely have the oil change in the same exact manner that we are changing the transmission fluid, which is through the dipstick, with the exception of a few vehicles, Mercedes, BMWs. Uh, those vehicles are super easy using this technique. So when this happens, guys, just keep pumping. And now adjust the pipe to make sure that it's really in there and you'll start seeing the flow lessen and lessen 
but you want to try to get as much of that fluid out. While we're waiting for the oil to settle down, what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab ourselves a funnel. And this is a cool little funnel I got here and basically attaches to one of these bigger funnels because you're going to need something slender like this for most transmissions because this is going to have to really get deep down in there and then you're going to be able to refill it. But before you start putting transmission fluid through this, what you want to do is you want to grab yourself some brake fluid and you want to make sure that everything in there is clean and do the same for the bigger funnel here and clean all that out before you put fresh transmission fluid because this dirt and grime will make it into the actual transmission and you do not want that to happen. All right, so the oil has really settled down. Everything's come down and we have about two and a half liters of transmission fluid that we took out of the vehicle so we want to put two and a half liters of transmission fluid back but most things that we get here in the u.s are in quarts so as you guys notice right here this right here is in the quart there is 1.06 quarts roughly in a liter the exact measurement is 1.057 however i use 1.06 just as an easier number so i'm going to put in basically about 2.65 per quart and you can use the measurement on the side to gauge it a little bit more effectively and i got my funnel all cleaned up here and i got the extension hooked up it's nice and tight and as i was doing this guys i was actually thinking about how I learned how to do this. And in high school, I took a ROP class at Clean Valley High School here in Concord, California. And I had a great teacher. His name was Mr. Harvey. So Mr. Harvey, wherever you're at, buddy, thank you for all you taught me. I really appreciate it. And your good teachings did not fall on deaf ears. Much appreciated. And now we're gonna go ahead and start filling this. And you wanna make sure you pay special attention to the bottom of the funnel to make sure that it's actually in the dipstick hole and some of the transmission dipsticks could be really skinny so you might have to get an adapter or get a smaller and narrower funnel hey guys really quick if you're enjoying this video please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button it really lets me and youtube know that i'm bringing you guys value content and i would really appreciate it thank you so much To get a really accurate reading, make sure you get everything in the bottle out. So let it sit there for a few seconds like that. And it's always a good idea to check the bottom to make sure you're not dripping down anything. Since we know there's 946 milliliters in each quart, what we can do is we can go ahead and take two quarts, which we did. We added those in there. All right, so I went ahead and added the third quart but I kept about 350 milliliters in the container. So now I'm at the exact level of fluid I took out of the transmission. And on this vehicle, what I did is I also tested it before with the fluid level and I'll test it afterwards too. And this is pretty easy to tell on this. And then if you actually go, depending on your vehicle, you wanna go and look at the actual dipstick. There's a lot of times writing on it. So this one says cold down here. At the tip and hot and on certain vehicles it will tell you how to check it will say check in park or check in neutral and it may also specify any special fluids or anything else right on the dipstick so try to pay attention to that so I want to point out a few things really quick before we go ahead and just put the transmission uh, dipstick back is when you do something like this and you go ahead and add fresh fluid to the vehicle you want to do certain things before you start driving the vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that next. You do not just want to change the fluid and just get on the freeway. This is definitely not a good idea. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the dipstick back in. So the dipstick is nice and tight in there. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the vehicle. I'm going to start the vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and let it run for about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and start shifting through the gear. So my gear... So right here, they're displayed for you. So I'm gonna go in reverse for 10 seconds with my foot on the brake. Now I'm gonna to go to neutral for 10 seconds. Now I'm in drive for 10 seconds. And you wanna do the same exact thing all the way down to the lowest gear on the vehicle, which in this case is the L. And then we're gonna do the complete opposite and work our way back up to park. There you go. So now we've made it through each gear twice for at least 10 seconds. And one thing I wanted to point out to you is the transmission fluid normally expands so whenever I do a transmission fluid change, I like to do it when it's cold, and that way the new fluid that I'm putting in is at the same temperature most likely, or very close to it, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the volume pretty accurately because they're both at the same temperature. And a lot of newer vehicles actually have special uh, temperature sensors in the fluid, and you could only change the fluid at a certain temperature, but what I figured out is if both the fluids are the same temperature, your readings will be pretty accurate. So the fluid is all filled up and I went and took it for a quick little drive. Everything looked good. And there's the fluid right there. You wanna go ahead and measure when it's hot or cold and you're all done. All right guys, I wanna show you guys the best part about using the suck out method here for your oil changes and transmission. Fluid changes is the cleanup whenever you're done and you got all your fluid, your reservoirs full, to go ahead and get the fluid here into your disposable container. I just have a five gallon jug here that I take back and forth to the store. You hit the little lever right here, and now when you pump, the fluid actually goes back the opposite way, and you could pump it right into the five gallon jug here. You don't have to even get dirty, or if you wanna make it faster, you can just pull the plug right here and what the plug allows you to do is go ahead and just dump all the fluid out. It has a quick release uh, depressurization valve right here and for easy storing you could go ahead and push the blue clip in and the hose just pops out like that. Now I can go ahead and easily store this Mighty Vac. It's out of the way ready for the next time. It's going to save me at least a couple hundred bucks and I got this all done within half an hour. How cool is that? Please always recycle your oil. They do it for free at any auto parts store you walk in. And my O'Reilly's here lets me dump up to five gallons of oil for free. So don't contaminate the earth and not do this properly. It's free, it's good for the environment, and they have plenty of uses for the old oil. They sometimes turn it into diesel. They actually have reconditioned motor oil now. And everybody wins. If you guys got any questions about doing this, please comment down below. And as I said, it's a really easy and simple process of just sucking the fluid out. And the nice thing is, I don't have to go and worry about a leak around the drain plug and getting underneath the vehicle or, or having to take out any of the engine covers under the vehicle. And it works. So if you guys like the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smash on the notification button as well. And I really appreciate you watching today. Have a great day. And